The government have got a shocking record in this area. They spent millions of pounds failing to save BIFAD, but now the site owners in Frustrata are recruiting from abroad because the government didn't train enough workers to build the tiny number of turbine jackets that are being built in this country. Is the government going to get anything out of this Freeport Green Board deal, or is it just going to be a repeat of the BIFAB shambles? Minister. Uh, we are hugely focused on delivering and maximising the opportunities from, uh, from Scotland and other opportunities that present themselves as a result of the transition to net zero. Working with uh, my colleague Michael Matheson uh, and myself, uh, I'm heading up uh, a working group that's looking to make sure that we can maximise the benefits for Scottish businesses and that Scottish businesses are well prepared with the capacity, the capability and the skills in place to take advantage of those opportunities as, the, as they come forward. Uh, skills development is absolutely key, of course, to, to that transition and I don't need to rehearse, I don't have the time to list all of the initiatives that the Scottish Government has taken to make sure we have the skills in place going forward to support um, a fair transition to, uh, to net zero. And the, the Greenport model um, is another uh, tool in the box, I've said, another opportunity for Scotland to, uh, to further build on the, the very promising sector we have round about uh, offshore wind, but other sectors as well in that transition to net zero. That's what it's focused on. It's, uh, it's taking forward this agenda. It's delivering for businesses, ports, communities and and workers across Scotland, delivering on the fair work agenda, delivering on economic development and delivering on uh, the transition to net zero.